the quantum particle. Now we have seen that uh, de Broglie suggested a quantum particle has a dual nature of wave and particle. So what is an ideal particle? It's localized with zero size, so it's just a single point. An ideal wave, on the other hand, is delocalized, it extends through all space. Now, if we add two waves with equal amplitudes and different frequencies, so if you consider A cosine K1x minus omega 1t, A cosine K2x minus omega 2t, the addition of two cosines, cosine A plus cosine B, gives us two cosine A minus B over 2, cosine A plus B over 2. We're using this trigonometric identity. So when we apply this trigonometric identity to, to these two waves, uh, y1 plus y2, these, the addition of these two wave functions will give us 2a, 2a cosine a minus b, k1 minus k2 x over 2 minus omega 1 minus omega 2 t over 2. And then we will have k1 plus k2 over 2 x and minus omega 1 plus omega 2 over 2 t. So you can see that this is the high frequency oscillation and this is a low frequency envelope. So the addition of two uh, wave functions gives us this partial localization of the wave. So we have a high frequency component that is oscillating in a low frequency envelope. So the envelope causes partial localization and beat frequency delta f. Now Adding many such waves, if we, if we continue with this procedure, we see more localization and eventually we get this localized wave. So an individual wave has a speed which is omega divided by k, that's called the uh, phase speed. Uh, the envelope moves with a group, uh, group velocity which is d omega dk. So uh, d omega dk, that is the speed of this low frequency envelope. Uh, delta omega divided by delta k turns into d omega dk, the group velocity. All right. Now, if we take this uh, d omega dk and multiply it by, by h bar, we get h omega over 2 pi divided by h k over 2 pi, because h over 2 pi is h bar, and omega over 2 pi is frequency, so we get dhf, k over 2 pi because k is 2 pi over lambda becomes dh over lambda. So that is dE dp. So what we see is that the envelope of combined waves represent the particle. So um, uh, basically, if we take a derivative of its energy with respect to momentum, we get the group velocity and therefore the envelope represents the particle. So you can see that here if the energy is one half mu square which is p squared over 2m, if you take a derivative dE dp you will get uh, 2p over 2m, p over m which is u the speed of the particle and that is the group velocity of the, uh, of the wave representing the particle. Okay. So uh, the double slit experiment was performed for electrons, as, as we said, Davison-Germer experiment. We can see that we have electrons going through two slits and giving us an interference pattern on the detector screen. Uh, the curve represents the number of electrons detected per unit time. And you can see here a wave-like uh, character. Now, this slit width, uh, A, the width of this slit, is less than the wavelength of the electron, then we have a negligible diffraction. So A over 2 sine theta is equal to lambda over 2. The, the condition for uh, the diffraction, uh, first diffraction uh, minimum, is going to give us sine theta is lambda over A. So if uh, the slit width is less than lambda, um, a less than lambda, this would be greater than 1, so we wouldn't observe this. So uh, what we would like to have then is to have a slit width comparable to uh, the wavelength or uh, greater than the, or slightly greater than the wavelength. Okay, so doing the experiment by sending one electron at a time, we still observe uh, interference. 
Uh, and that's basically bas saying us that an electron as a wave can be present at both slits simultaneously. So a single electron, uh, but it, its wave character can appear on both uh, slits and we can observe the interference. So if we, however, if we measure which slit the electron goes through, the interference pattern collapses. That's called the wave function collapse. Okay, so we talked about the nature of the quantum particle, dual nature, wave and particle. An ideal particle has zero size, an ideal wave extends through space, it's delocalized. If you consider two uh, traveling waves uh, and add them up, you see, uh, you immediately see partial localization by adding uh, several uh, waves, we can obtain a localized wave uh, which represents the particle. The individual wave has a speed omega over k, the phase speed. The group velocity is d omega dk. That's the speed with which the envelope moves. And uh, we have shown that uh, that corresponds to the EDP. So that basically represents the speed of the particle. So the group velocity, the envelope of the combined waves represents the particle. When we perform the double slit experiment for electrons, if we have one electron going through, uh, approaching the set of slits, we see an interference pattern on the screen. However, if we measure uh, through which slit the electron goes through, we observe what is called wave function collapse. The interference pattern collapses. So an electron as a wave can be present at both slits simultaneously.